Okay, so today I just briefly want to talk about Data Pipelines Pocket Reference by James Densmore. So this book is an introduction to like, what is a data pipeline? How do you build it out? I think if you're a data analyst, a data scientist, or a junior data engineer, and you're just getting started, this is a really good place to start. So typically, if you were to look up how do I get started in data engineering or books to get started, books to build data pipelines, you'll end up with something like uh, Designing Data Intensive Applications, which is a really good book, uh, but I don't think it's a good beginner book. And I'll talk about it more in just a second. Um, this book, I think, is a better beginner book. So what this book talks about is, okay, so what is a data pipeline? What is ETL? What is ELT? Um, what's the differences between the two? What, is, what does it mean to transform the data? How do you ingest the data? How do you build a pipeline? How do you monitor it, et cetera? And it's got a lot of use cases. It's got a lot of code in the book, which I think is great because it kind of gives you an idea of what kind of code you might be writing. So there's a lot of Python. Um, there's a lot of SQL you know, the kind of kind of standard data engineering tooling. Um, it does talk about tools like Redshift, Snowflake, um, and Airflow, which are all like really common in the data engineering world. And this book's small, it's like 250 pages. I think you're probably gonna go through it in like a month. Uh, if you really wanted to build out everything, it might take a little bit longer, but it really shouldn't take very long to get through this book. And it's mostly taught at a very high level. It's not gonna tell you the nitty gritty details about all the tools and how they work and how to do nuanced things in them, but it'll tell you what it is and kind of guide you on the next steps to take after you start, being, start moving forward, right? And so I think that, that for that reason, this is a really cool book. Um, now, if you're getting more advanced, that's where this book will come in, this Design Data Intensive Applications. I don't like it though as an introduction book. And, and the reason I say that is because this book is super, super dense and it goes through the behind the curtains information about distributed systems, you know, it talks about things like sharding and, you know, how a database works under the covers. And that's really interesting, really good information, but not necessarily the best way to get started in building data pipelines, right? Like eventually it makes sense to know what sharding is, but you don't necessarily need to use it the first time you build like a pipeline that's maybe an R that's moving data from A to B, right? And you maybe run it once a month. This book is probably going to give you a higher level of overview of that kind of work and kind of get you started. And so that's why I think it's a really good book. Additionally, this book's probably gonna take you like five months to really go through and like understand. This book, uh, maybe a month. So that, that's why I'd recommend starting with this if you can. Um, I'll try to find a link for it below. I think it's a really good book. Hopefully you get something from it. Um, it's probably also gonna be a little bit cheaper. I can't say that for sure off the top of my head, but I would assume because it's a smaller book. Um, but yeah, if you end up reading the book, please let me know what you think. Um, if you have any questions, again, please leave them in the comments about either of these books or any other book. Um, and hopefully I'll get to you as soon as I can. Thank you.